Okay, good morning everybody. Today is the 18th of February. Yeah, it's the 18th of February 2018. And it is Sunday. It's Sunday morning. And we're back again in this dull... It was sunny this morning, but it went dull. And a big cloud came in. And the sun got hid. <laughs> got hidden. So uh, today we are on the road again. And we were discussing yesterday... Um, what were we discussing, Zoe? Uh, the last tape, I think it was the one on the beach, where we were discussing something rather controversial, and it was about the, um, the idea of 5G, uh, how their Wi-Fi is going to get a lot more powerful, and they're not telling us about it. There's already um, huge 5G networks out there, right beside schools in the States and things like that. And I was thinking how that is related to um, mind control. And when you hear of these kids that are autistic and creating uh, havoc in schools and becoming totally psychotic, it sounds like a Manchurian candidate using EMP methodology. Well, sure, uh, probably 99% of all UFO sightings are uh, high tech. You know, tech we're not aware of, and uh, stealth, whatever, probably way beyond that now. So are we living in a matrix at this point? You'd have to think so. I think the probability of that. Things seem to be really not natural, not occurring the way you think. Logic is not there anymore. There's something else going on. What is it? Is it already run by this HAL network, the beast system called... Artificial intelligence? Are we artificial intelligence? And we think we're human because we're in flesh suits, but do we have a soul? That's what's really important, ladies and gentlemen. Do we have a spirit continuum? Are we infinite or are we eternal? And what's the difference between eternal versus... Uh, eternal versus... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Eternal versus, hold on, going over there. Infinite. Well, I think eternal has to do the soul and infinite with the spirit. Infinite spirit, eternal soul. If we return to the world karmatically, then we probably have form. No, then we have. Uh, we return the world. It's in, in etern eternity. Keep repeating eternity, but if we come back to this is a formus, by the way. What is it saying? Right now, it's going to the east. It's get, before it was to the west or to the north. Don't mind me. I'm just um, trying to figure out the uh, energy formus around here, which really happen quite frequently. Let's look up, way up, and I'll call her Rusty. Rusty the Rooster, remember uh, the Friendly Giant, CBC? Yeah, I used to watch it every day when I was about five years old. And I think basically I, I took a lot of that as the Friendly Giant into my heart. Because a lot of people might think you're fierce if you're over a certain height. Well, I'm, I'm fierce, but I'm also very gentle. So... Um, a tall person, but doesn't mean that I'm a giant. I don't think I come from the giants of Wisconsin. Oh my god, I saw something really interesting about Wisconsin. Besides the pyramids in the uh, Lake Michigan, or wherever, uh, Lake Superior, I don't know. They, I, think Mich I think Wisconsin has both Michigan and Lake Superior. I'm not sure though. Okay. Nonetheless, the House on the Rock, check it out. A lot of people have done exposés on this really freaky house that this architect, along the lines of Frank Lloyd Wright, built his name is... What's his name now? Um, oh, gosh, I can't remember his name right now. But anyway, you can look it up. You have to see how odd some people's minds work. It's quite interesting. But anyway... Uh, I like that kind of thing. It's uh, interesting. All the things I find interesting. I like uh, mechanical devices. And then you think, okay, so in the Victorian age, when they made these mechanical devices, these incredible um, 
automatons or what they call, you know, the uh, incredible um, music boxes and that sort of thing. What were they doing? That was the first technology. And they were already making robots and humans. They want to create... It's sort of like God created us and we're creating robots. And robots in the Victorian age were the automaton. And the automaton were like those porcelain dolls. A perfect kind of concept of humanity. And I just think of it when they're going around that carousel. All those dolls and it's so tall. I'm thinking of... Wow, is that a strange? I'd really like to, bucket list, go on that carousel. Can you get me on that carousel? Okay, thanks. Hold on, Zoe. Hold on. Very awkward walking on ice and having a car go by and trying to maintain a little bit of integrity with the dog. And the camera. <laughs> Sorry. I kind of went loop-de-loop -loop there. But anyway, what were we saying? Um, yeah, I I got blocked on Facebook and on Google lately. Would not allow my old password, which was good. And so I had to um, get a new email in order to get back on and to have a new name and that sort of thing. But they're not accepting it. The Janae Jones with... Arts and Entertainment A E J Arts and Entertainment A E N Arts and Entertainment A E um, Janae Jones. So uh, what happens that? <laughs> you know, really. So it's quite interesting. Um, but I got in, but it won't allow me. It's sort of like it knows that I screwed up, and so it's not allowing me onto um, Google Plus. So. Now I can't get on Google Plus, and that's and that, I can't download on my old phone movies, so I have to use the new f this one, which is really awkward to use, very dangerous because I don't want to break it, and that sort of thing. It's great HD quality and everything, but uh, oh boy. Anyway, I'm already at seven minutes. I don't know how long I can go. Zoe, where are you going? Come on, let's go. Come on. And I wanted to take some still pictures of the sky today. Come on, get over here. Oh, she's being awkward today. She, last night she barked for an hour at night, in the middle of the night. About two, three in the morning, she's barking. I could, I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted from this flu that just seems to come back and morph into different ways. Now I have an infected eye. Um, it's just sick. I mean, I mean, a lot of people are complaining about it. I put a tea bag on my eye, it really helped. And I put the wrong kind of cream on my my eye, which was wrong. Um, quick up blind. Yeah, that's, <laughs> she used to do I don't think it goes on the eyeball, no. But on the eyelid, I don't know. It, it, it was better and then it's not better. It's really sick. Anyway, sniffles, sinuses. I had the aches of all the nodes. Very, ugh. there's my footprint. Look, it's almost like a sculpture. Hey, that'd be a cool sculpture. Here's the hill through that opening there. And they're going to keep all this for the, um, I think it's some kind of um, drainage or something. I don't know if it's Tukumsi or one of the Indian tribes is keeping this land for them. I think it's just because it's a uh, really uh, a very wet land. That, so it costs a lot to, well, they do do that, develop it, costs a lot for fill. But also, it's a very important drainage system in the bird sanctuary. We have some rare birds here. Not the warbler. We have uh, blue jays. We have, uh, war what are they called? The um, cute chickadees. And I finally realized that chickadees make two kinds of sounds. They make a sound, and then they make a... Um, that's, I was wondering, what the heck was that? All the way up north, what kind of bird is making that noise? It's a little chickadee. So, figured that out. And then we have, um, of course, the um, crows. The raven. I think that's a crow, not a raven, because the ravens are singular. They, they uh, fly singular and on their own like eagles, but the crows are always in packs, and there's always two. And if you see one crow, apparently it's bad luck. Here's the uh, magical... Leprechaun fairy tree. And today it's looking very 
ancient. I hear noise. I don't know where it's coming from. All night long my ears were buzzing. I don't know if that's because the sun is going solar minimal, I heard. And for 50 years, it's starting in 2015, 2050, sorry, it's going to go solar minimal. And that was over on the um, Stuart's Wordlow site with his wife and um, Janet. And uh, it's quite amazing to think that uh, these things happen. Anyway, uh, back to 5G. What do you think of 5G? Leave your comments below. Like and subscribe. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> but uh, I thought about monetizing, but when you only have... I think I have 75 subscribers, but... I'm thinking that that means that that's not very good. You know, it's not like half a million, is it? No, but maybe my ideas one day will be understood. The concepts that I have been producing on Janae Jones' Facebook site now, I had to get a new Facebook site because they wouldn't accept my password at the same time. Google wouldn't accept it. Neither. So either someone's hacking in or um, they need to upgrade the software uh, because I hadn't been able to upgrade. I did a factory reset and all this shit, so that worked out pretty good, but it's still, I need an upgrade on the phone. If anyone wants to send me a phone, great. Just uh, comment below and we'll be able to do a better job. I have a lot of plans. I had a concept, a few ideas about geocaching for the uh, Heart and Stroke Foundation, which I'm now presently a volunteer, but I'm not getting any bites there either. People are not around anymore. They've gone to Florida or wherever, and I'm finding it very difficult to drum up um, charitable donations for the Heart and Stroke, but I thought with this geocaching idea, I'd be able to... Um, there's a deer, it looks like. Deer crossing right there. Slipped on the ice. Reminds me of that song, Grandma, the reindeer. But um, somebody looks like somebody's walking, like a giant walking. Oh, there's a lot of coyotes coming around. Oh, coyotes! Maybe she was barking at the coyotes. I don't know, but whatever she's barking at, maybe because the lights weren't coming on, the security lights weren't coming on for some reason. And I hope to God. I'm not being microwaved with some homemade device at night. Because my ears and it just buzz, buzz, buzz at night. Not in the daytime. So whatever it is cranking up the 5G and the towers around here, of which there are probably many and some we don't see, they could have invisible towers now. They could have really invisible relay systems. Which, so the new technology is good and bad. I mean, we can have solar, a console stuff where everything is being heated only on a poor... You know, this is so, like you buy a stove, it has its own electrical source. You know, like solar source or something like that. That was a good concept. It would be wonderful if we didn't have to rely on the grid. And yet, it's against the law not to rely on the grid. They want you, and yet they want you to lessen your footprint, and they show pictures of people with tiny feet. It's kind of silly. What else is new? Listen to a really interesting. <clears throat> oh, Zoe. I think she's going through her heat again. She's pulling like crazy. I do not want to fall in the ditch and get drowned. I just have nightmares lately, a lot of nightmares about oh, crazy things like driving off a cliff with someone who tied me into the cliff, like into a car in the cliff. Oh. And then they jump out, and like I'm going over the cliff, and I'm tied in, and I can't get out. And then I've had dreams where I've been like can't get out of the uh, um, this kind of thing. I have sewer here, no sewer, you know, storm ditch. I can't get out of it. I'm like on my back, and I'm help, help, you know. Nobody ever helps. And then I wake up. And I'm probably dead when you wake up. But they say if you die in your dream, no, if you hit the bottom. You jump off out of an airplane, and like I always have those dreams too, <sighs> parachute dreams, um, and you hit, if you, you die. 